the 80s, like guitar was okay. king. When I got my first guitar, like everything was about the guitar. I could turn on public television and they were, had guitar shows and guitar lessons. Are you guys ready for me yet? All right, let's do this. Right Excited on. to have you over and uh, introduce this new oh, yeah, yo, eh. for you. <laughs> this is what wow. we've been working on for three months now, huh? Wow. So. <laughs> the strings. So I can kind of walk you through the design. Okay. We can yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Feels good. We've got two output jacks in the back and there's two battery boxes too. So gotcha. two output jacks, you can record each um, signal. And the switch for that is the first switch right here. Wow. The other switch is for the battery. So there's oh, one okay. battery in right that's that's being used. Okay. If that one dies on you in a concert, whatever, <laughs> you just switch it to the other it's, one. Okay. It's like having a separate gas tank on your truck, yeah, right? Exactly. Boom. And then we got two sound ports right here. Each one has a separate volume and tone for each pickup. Okay, so this is, oh, there we go. Wow. Hi, I'm Terrence Hansen, and I'm happy to be holding this new Close custom guitar. Uh, it's the second of its kind. Uh, the first one was made by Richard Hiris back in uh, 2008. And um, after uh, I started hanging two guitars around my neck in 1995, I hooked two guitars together on a stand, and I played those two guitars as one instrument. Richard Hiris, a Dutch guitar builder, made uh, the first crossed neck guitar where the strings cross over this angle. And uh, that developed by me um, trying the two separate guitars at different angles for the ergonomics and how to play with the most strength for tapping. So uh, after I received the guitar, I uh, brought it back from Holland and the guitar cracked because the climate in Holland is a lot more humid. Uh, various things started to change in the wood of the guitar. I, I started to get kind of anxious because I travel a lot and. Uh, and this guitar is my main, this is, this is, I'm the only one that plays a cross neck guitar like this. So if, if it breaks or it doesn't function, I can't just go to a music store and get another one. So it, I started to fantasize actually about carbon fiber guitars and uh, found out that there is a company that here in my city of, of Salt Lake, they're in Provo, it's not too far away. And uh, I couldn't even believe it. And I approached Ian and uh, he, he was, um, willing to do it and he did a wonderful beautiful job uh, I couldn't I mean I'm after playing this for just a few minutes I feel like I'm I, I've gone to another level already but uh, I'm very excited because this guitar was made just for travel so um, and it also has a great tone uh, the fact that that this is going to travel well it disassembles the next uh, screw off um, and uh, it goes it should theoretically go into the overhead luggage on the airplane. Yeah, this is this is a dream come true and the craftsmanship, uh, incredible. I can't believe that I approached him a few months ago and now I'm holding this. This He did an amazing job and all the guys in the factory here are just are amazing. They, they really worked super hard to, to make this happen, like better than I could have imagined. So what a wonderful company and I'm so excited I, I discovered Close Guitars. Uh, what, a, what a wonderful uh, experience it is having this in my hands right now.
Thank mm-hmm. you.